at the tip of New York's Long Island is a place reachable only by boat or air. This is Plum Island, isolated for a reason. It's where the government does research on the highly infectious foot and mouth virus, far from any livestock. But now, a germ so feared it was kept offshore by law may be coming onshore. The Bush administration is likely to move the outdated lab at Plum Island to one of five sites around the country, a proposal raising questions. Will a new state-of-the-art lab be safe enough to allow research anywhere near commercial livestock? It goes against the main uh, aspect of the safety program for the past 50 years. It's going to have to be in somebody's backyard. There's money at stake here with a lab bringing economic development, helping university researchers. There is fear, too, of deadly germs escaping and spreading. The last U.S. outbreak of foot and mouth was in 1929. A more recent outbreak in Britain led to the slaughter of millions of animals. If a single cow comes down with foot and mouth, all agricultural exports from the U.S. could be halted. Animals slaughtered. John Studeman is a cattle farmer near Athens, Georgia, a site for the proposed lab. As long as it's a secure facility, uh, I see no problem with it being right here. This husband and wife team of activists doesn't want it. Our basic concern is that the economic benefit to Athens has been oversold and the safety concerns have been understated. The lab could be opened by 2014. Congress wants to know if the move is safe, demanding documents from the Department of Homeland Security. Some things they do at Plum Island I would not want to see on the mainland like hoof and mouth disease. I mean, it's just too uh, important, very highly contagious. Homeland Security officials say the lab will be safe, claiming in a statement studies are being done to evaluate the impacts of hypothetical foot and mouth disease releases at each lab site. For 10 years, Corey Brown worked at Plum Island. Nowadays, with the kinds of technology that we have for biocontainment, it's no longer necessary to be on an island. But the former director of Plum Island worries. Lab workers here carry the virus on their breath, meaning they can't have animals and must wait before going to a zoo or circus. It seems a little odd to be thinking of locating the lab in a region where there's a lot of agricultural animals. For their part, cattle growers want a new lab to fight outbreaks, do research, whether on the mainland or on this dot of land called Plum Island. For the Associated Press, I'm John Siegenthaler.